Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Usher and today we'll be looking at housing in Fable 3. In Fable 3 we have greatly improved our housing system. Now a player can truly customize the houses, unleashing the interior designer within or simply climb the property ladder and become a real estate mogul. Just like in Fable 2, if you have the money you can run around buying property to your heart's content and subsequently swap out the furniture within. But now, in Fable 3, if you want a bed instead of a wardrobe in a certain place, just swap it out. Prefer an Iron Maiden to a sink? Swap it out. Who needs hygiene anyway? And don't like the rug or its placement? Swap it out and move it. Also new to Fable 3 is the option of replacing your ornaments to truly give your house the feel you want it to. From clean family home, to lavish boudoir, to torture chamber. The wallpaper pattern's not to your liking, you can change that too. However, if all you want is minimum effort and maximum profit, then let your trusty sidekick butler, Jasper, do the decorating. And there you are, that's what I can do. Not too shabby, I don't think. With this level of customization, you can take a step closer to turning houses into homes. But remember, be a good landlord. Through the map in the sanctuary, you can easily view and maintain your houses. Make sure your houses are repaired so the money keeps flowing. And if you want a torrent of cash flow as opposed to a trickle, increase the rent. The tenants won't like it, but your pocket will. Now there you have it. In Fable 3, housing is easier and deeper than ever before. I'm Daniel Usher, and we'll see you in Albion.